Hello people! A bit cloudy today, but otherwise it's beautiful weather. Today I'm going to show you how you can use your old Android phone as an IP camera. I have this birdhouse here which has birds in it and I want to have it on surveillance so I can see how how far the... So I can keep an eye on the birds. So let's do that today. First of all, you need an Android phone. Um, it could be an old or a new Android phone, it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm not sure about the Android version that is required for this app to work, but I'm going to use my um, Galaxy S4, which is my second phone today. So I'm going to put in my passcode. We're going to go to the Play Store and we're going to search for IP webcam. And then it's the first you see here, the IP webcam app by Pavel Klibovic. I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, you can also buy the pro version, but the, the basic tasks you need to, to you need for this to work is included in the, the free version. So we're going to ins install that, and it needs access to all this. Then we open the app, and here you have a lot of settings. So basically, you could just say start server and. Um, it would start the, the IP webcam function. Now, the basic tasks you wanna you wanna put on your phone is set this check mark here. Um, so if your phone reboots for some reason, it automatically starts up this app and starts uh, streaming. So it's it's a proper uh, IP uh, webcam. Uh, then the broadcasting. Uh, you need security, of course, so I'm going to put in a password, I'm going to set a login, it's going to be birds, the password is going to be um, uh, nest, okay, and the port, you see, this is the port that you have to forward in your router in order to get this to work from outside your home put in let's say uh, 666 okay then we go back and video preferences and we can configure uh, the main camera secondary camera the resolution um, photo resolution quality um, depending on your your internet speed uh, we can start by setting it 100%, we can change that later. Uh, the the or orientation of the video, you can flip the video. You can do a lot of stuff in here. You don't really need to mess with it. Right, so basically we're actually ready to stream now. Uh, what we want to do, we want to connect to a wireless network. Um, so, let me activate the Wi-Fi. So we go to the button and we press start server. I'm not going to download this now. I, this is probably a new feature I haven't seen before, so let's say no to that. Right now, we just want to get it to work as an IP camera. Right, so as you can see, the camera is now on, and if my camera would focus, there. You can see it has a local IP address of 10.00.115, and then colon 6.6.6.6. Right now, there are no video connections and no audio connections. Let's take a look at a browser and see how this works. All right, now we're at the computer and we're going to open up a browser. I'm using Firefox and it's the best browser for me. It's the one I've gotten best results with uh, regarding this Android IP camera. So, uh, and by the way, this is connected to the same wireless network as the Android phone. So let me just open up a browser. And we're going to navigate to the um, IP address of the phone. So 10.0.0.115 colon 6666. Enter. And you're going to get prompted for a username and password. This is the username that you put in earlier. So it's in this case Bert. And the password is Nest. Okay. As you can see, we can change some settings here as well. 
we can't really see anything right now. What we can do is go to the video render bar right here and I'm gonna use browser. There are different settings. You can use Flash browser, Java, JavaScript um, to, to show the video. So we're gonna press browser. And as you can see here, we have a live feed of me talking. Uh, but it's pretty lacky though. So what we can do is go down to the stream quality and we can go down to about 56 or 50 maybe, like that. That is a bit better, it's not perfect though. We can set the video resolution a bit as well. So let's go to 1280 by 720 maybe. That is a bit better. Uh, it might be because of me recording this as well. Uh, however, it, it should be about um, 15 to 20 frames per second, as long as you're connected to the same wireless network. So let's go and put this on the birdhouse. All right, so now you can see the phone is on this tripod, uh, gorilla part thing, and uh, it's upside down. Uh, it's also connected to this battery bank. Uh, since uh, the, the app is using up a lot of power so if we leave it without any kind of power it won't be able to to run for very long but now we need to go into the preferences of the phone and set it to upside down since the image is rotated at the moment as you might be able to see it's upside down so we go into the actions and we press stop okay and then we go into to the top into the video preferences we go to the to the um, uh, to the one that's called flip. And we put the check mark right there, and then we go back and down to start server. All right, as you can see now, we're back on the computer, and uh, we can actually see the birdhouse here, and um, we can zoom in. It's going to be a digital zoom though. Let's put this down to 50%, 45% maybe. At the moment, it's lagging since uh, the, the Wi-Fi is barely reachable for the, for the Android phone at the moment. So I can't, really, I can't really get to it. See, that's the thing. You need an Android phone, you need Wi-Fi, and you need to forward the port in your router if you want to use this outside your network. If you're on the same network, you can put this out to the birdhouse or whatever you want to watch. It has to be legal, of course. Remember that. There are laws against surveillance cameras. Different for, for each country, of course. But basically, every country has some sort of laws regarding surveillance cameras. But, yeah, I can sit in my living room. I can keep an eye on the birds and see how they are doing. So I've put the quality down to about 16%. And, uh, of course, the quality isn't that great. But as you can see now, uh, it's still lacking. So you need a decent Wi-Fi signal in order for this to work properly. So that is basically it for using an old Android phone as an IP camera. If you have any questions regarding this, feel free to comment something below. I hope you can use the information in this video. And if you liked it, please press the like button. I will see you in the next video. Bye.